Hello my Small Fat Adaptive family and welcome back to the Keto Kitchen. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas despite the troublesome year. I am back to show you my ketogenic Christmas, this being the sixth year in a row that I have been ketogenic over the holiday period. I just have a few notes before we get into it. First note is that the Christmas food you're about to see is for seven people over two days. Christmas Day and what we call here in the UK Boxing Day, which is just the 26th. Also, despite being British, we don't do a typical traditional British roast for Christmas. Over the years, we've kind of honed in on our own sort of traditional Christmas meals and a lot of them are more sort of North American dishes that you'd find at Thanksgiving or at Christmas. And lastly, some of the meals that we made this year will have recipes on my channel. If one of them does, I will not only link the recipe in the description down below, but a little pop-up will come up that you can click uh, left or right hand up aside. But with that out of the way, let's have a look at my Keto Christmas 2020. We will start with the one sauce that we make every single year, and that is cranberry sauce. We make our own because the store-bought is pretty high in sugar. This jar of cranberry sauce serves 12 tablespoons, with each tablespoon being 16 calories, no fat, 0.1 of a gram of protein, and 2.7 net carbs. Next up, we'll look at the two meats that we have every single year. We have a pork joint that comes with the usual beautiful crackling look at it, oh my gosh. And we also have a turkey that is wrapped in bacon that is filled with keto stuffing. The turkey wasn't even prepped until past midnight, so I took the footage from actually from last year's video because it was the exact same process. I'm not gonna give the macros for the meat, but I have worked it in for my macronutrients for the end of the day. But I can absolutely give you the macros for the turkey stuffing. This lovely fatty stuffing uses a keto bread that I made on the 23rd. There is a recipe for this exact stuffing on the channel. This stuffing serves eight, and per serving, it is 169 calories, 17 grams of fat, three grams of protein, and one net carb. We also use the same bread I made on the 23rd for two other recipes, one of which is bread sauce, and this is the most British thing that you'll see at our Christmas table. It's basically a lumpy sauce made out of bread, cream, and spices, and it sounds gross, but it is so tasty. The bread sauce will serve 16, with each serving being 108 calories, 10 grams of fat, one gram of protein, and one net carb. And the other recipe that we use bread in is our carrot casserole. This is a casserole that requires us to make both a cream of mushroom soup and bread, which we then make into croutons. This will serve 12, with each serving being 257 calories, 23 grams of fat, 9.5 grams of protein, and four net carbs. Then there is my favourite dish which is saucy sprouts. So this will serve about eight with each serving coming in at 45 calories, four grams of fat, 1.2 grams of protein and one net carb. Every year a part of our side dishes we have what we kind of call the different dish because it changes. For 2020 we went with rosemary roasted rutabaga. Rutabaga is also known as Swede in the UK, but that title doesn't, doesn't quite have the same uh, ring to it, does it? It's quite a high carb side dish considering the small portion size. This serves six and the macros are 66 calories, 4.2 grams of fat, 0.9 grams of protein and 4.6 net carbs. We also last minute on Christmas day decided that we were gonna have some keto friendly Yorkshire puddings or Americans, I believe you call them popovers. I don't have fresh footage for these because as I said, it was literally a last minute decision, but I used Queen Keto's Yorkshire pudding recipe. It makes 12 Yorkshire puddings and each one is 45 calories, two grams of fat, 2.8 grams of protein and three net carbs. Then we get to desserts. We'll start with the one that we have every single year without fail and that is a pumpkin pie with candied pecans on top. This serves 16 and each slice is 251 calories, 23 grams of fat, five grams of protein and three net carbs. We also had another pie this year and that was a cranberry cheesecake pie. This also serves 16 and each slice is 193 calories, 17.5 grams of fat, 3.5 grams of protein and two net carbs. 
Then lastly, for dessert, we had some lupin flour Danish cookies. I literally experimented with this recipe a week ago and I was already requested to make quadruple the amount of cookies for Christmas. This recipe will be on the channel in January 2021, I promise you, and it is well worth the wait. So I made 32 cookies and each one is 70 calories, 6.5 grams of fat, two grams of protein and one net carb. Let's have a look at exactly what I ate for Christmas 2020, right from breakfast all the way through to snacks after dessert. For breakfast at about 10 o'clock in the morning, I had a portion of Monte Cristo casserole. This recipe is on the channel. It's basically like an eggy, creamy, cheesy, hammy with slight sweetness bake. <laughs> So after breakfast and present opening, I had, wait for it, sriracha flavored crickets. Crickets, the bug. I actually bought these as a joke present for my mum, but we love them. They're so tasty. So as we started reheating food for dinner, which was about 2 p.m., I had two little pigs in blankets and I also had two of my Lupin Danish cookies. So we ate dinner at about 2.30, I guess. I had my usual side plate sized plate and I had a little bit of everything except for cauliflower cheese. We have cauliflower cheese throughout the year. We don't have saucy sprouts. We don't have carrot casserole and I wanted to make sure I had the stomach space to really enjoy those foods. For dessert, I had a huge piece of pumpkin pie and then I had a little slither of the cranberry cheesecake pie and two more Lupin Danish cookies. And then about four hours later, I had a sugar-free banana lollipop and that's it. We didn't have our usual games, our snacks, our movies. Most of us went to bed at maybe eight or nine o'clock. I think this is just because it was the first time that we've been together as a family for months and it's very tiring socializing. <laughs> so my macronutrients for the day came out at a whopping 2,040 calories, 168 grams of fat, 105.5 grams of protein and 26.5 net carbs. This is pretty much two days worth of food for me. But once again, I have remained in my 30 grams of net carbs limit without tracking my macros until the end of the day. And I have just completed my sixth ketogenic Christmas in a row. Now, before I end the video, I just wanna say something. Thank you. This year has been tough for most people and I've had my fair share of strife, like an unknown illness in June that left me bed bound for 10 days and I have had chronic fatigue syndrome since. And a few months ago, my five and a half year relationship ended. And these were both things that slowed down the Keto Kitchen YouTube channel massively. But the support that I have received has been unbelievable. The incredible rise in subscriptions, all the likes, the comments, the shares, all the private messages that I've had on Instagram, the companies that have wanted to work with me. All these things have kept me feeling like I have a purpose, like despite all of the awful things that have happened this year, I am helping people. I cannot begin to express my gratitude to every single one of you. I hope you had a good Christmas and I really hope that 2021 is everything that 2020 took away from us. But for now, I'll see you next year. Keep calm. Keep on. Thanks for watching.